Hello everybody, Seabiscuit here with Master Biscuit Gaming. Remember, you can always trust somebody whose name begins with the letter and ends with the food. Today we're going to be playing once again, Avorian. I want to get done with this ship. I haven't completed the front. I haven't completed the back. It's all still has to be completed. So, stick around. So I'm assuming that the intro went exactly as planned. It should have. I gave it enough time. Anyways, we're going to be now building on to the ship. So, what have I done since the last time you guys have seen me play this game? Well, very little. I had to move my ships around, actually. I have one ship here and three ships here. There is so many mineable, uh, so much mineable resource there that I I just couldn't believe it. So, so, I should be getting a steady flow of material. I rolled ahead a little while, I think whenever I left off last time, I only had like, what, 80 something thousand of that, and now I have 118,000 of that. So we're doing, we're doing it, man. We're, we're, we're doing it. The only thing that I still have to worry about is, of course, money. I can't tell how much I owe these people, ever, but I know that it is an amount. And as long as it is an amount, I always have to worry. So, let us get started. Oh, also I had to add guns onto the ship. They're, they're, they're not permanent, that's not where I want them to permanently be. Like I said before, I actually want the guns to be on the fins, like these are. But I'm actually going to remove these because I'm going to turn the fins. I decided that I didn't like the way this looked, and I'm going to make them almost a shield in which it's going to be like triangled inward instead of spiked out on each one. Well, actually, each one will still probably be spiked. This is going to be a spike. That's going to be a spike. This is going to be a spike. Spikes everywhere. Spikes for days, man. Spikes is only way to live. You can't say that I be copying other people's designs. My designs are by design. I don't know where I was going with that. Pardon that, uh, pardon that. So I think the main thing I want to make today is the bridge, which is going to be, also I gotta move that, which is, uh, which is nice. Did I make the bridge mirrored? How do you guys feel about mirrored bridges? Cool, not cool? Like, make a bridge front and bottom. I mean, I don't really want to get rid of this thruster, but it doesn't make any sense to have a thruster and a bridge. I can get rid of... I can put... Okay, so I think I'm going to get rid of this thruster and... And that thr... No. Get rid of this thruster only. Keep that one. And then put thrusters out from these. I think that's what I'm going to do. I think that's what I'm going to do. I also have to decide what I'm going to do with this. Because there has to be armor over that. And in fact, what I'm going to go ahead and do is... The first thing on the list of things to do. Go all the way down. Uh huh. Yep. One more. see here get this do the that do the block match and I think I can only match this way because the game effed up on me which I, you know that happens we're gonna go ahead and armor all of these I accidentally put two there. I'm gonna delete that. Okay. Because you know the the front face is already done. That's a difficult one. Do I want that there? Possibly. Possibly. We're gonna. And I don't need to cover that one. 
Okay, yeah. No covering that one, and I can cover that one. Cool. Yes. Yes a hundred times, no one time. Okay. I should probably put thrusters down there. Like I said before, I don't really want thrusters all over this thing. The fact that I have these and these, it kind of bugs me. But I won't actually ever see this, so... I mean, they do the same thing, it's just... Um, yes, and I have middle ones. There we go. Now you can barely... I mean, you won't even see those. And it should give me slightly more in the way of mobility. At least one direction. Okay. And we will get on that later. Right now, we have a bridge to make. I need to move these, actually. In order to make the bridge, I had to fill out the center part. And... That's gonna take some time. Alright, so how do you make a how am I going to make the bridge? Well first I have to change that into not that. Something something out of neonite, I guess. Because I have a little Nah, well look how much of this man look man those miners man they are oh yeah you guys can't see the mouse. Look how much tritium I got now. One hundred and twenty-five thousand. I'm gonna run out of money before I run out of tritium again. That's gonna suck. I just made myself sad with that statement. And I apologize to myself. Nobody else, just myself. I wanna turn that thing, this thing, into a computer because somebody one day will tell me what it does. Increases processing power for more upgrades. Sure. Sure, man. You know, whatever you do, there because this this has to be kind of filled out in order for the the whatever I'm working on to work so how am I going to make the bridge I heard you ask like four minutes ago well like anybody makes a bridge of course with triangles and large sharp corners and designs that probably don't match the rest of the ship of course like where have you lived under a rock
up the block match. Let's see, how do I want this to be? I don't know. To be continued? <laughs> no, no. I know what's going to be right here. I know what that's going to be now. I was debating on what that should be for a long time until just now. Creates artificial subspace friction. Reduces drifting. That's what I need to be right there. And I've gotten quite a bit of, a bad, ugh, gotten quite a bit of iron over the course of my miners mining. 3,000. I have enough to do both. To do both sides. There we go. I like to leave these visible, but due to the simple fact that that would be kind of ridiculous right here. It's a gyro. This is iron framework. So this needs to be something. How much money do I have? We're going to make you into all the way down an integrity field generator apparently make sure that's this all right integrity field generator so that should help make this make the front of it a lot more stable i gotta cover that up But that should help stop me from doing this, all this drifting, without the need of having to add in like a lot more um, reverse thrust. That's what I believe it does. So now if I turn this direction, my ships should start going in that direction faster. If I turn this direction, I should stop drifting in the other direction and start going more in this direction again. Looks like I need that in the back too. So we're going to make, how large is that? I need a smaller one than that to be it. We'll make that into one. There we go. Now that can be an integrity field generator. And that should be all of the ship. And it is. And that is glorious. So. Now, I am going to spend uh, quite a bit of money because this ship needs to be able to jump faster. Uh, it needs a larger jump range. That's the integrity field still. I need a hyperspace core. Ooh, is it gonna, this, that's, oh, okay. Whew, whew. That could have been a lot more money and resource. We're going to go ahead and do that. And we're going to turn that into shield. Shield, shield, generator, shield, if I have the money. I can't tell what its top speed is currently because of the fact 
that I don't have um, all of the the, uh, the engineers I need. But now, if something strikes the fins and start and like destroys the armor right here, I'll at least have these things to kind of put my way out of that fight. I guess it's not gonna. That's not enough uh, thrust in order to really do anything. Right here it says the max velocity, but it's not the real max velocity because I don't have all the engineers. So for this, for the deck. I, I want it to be kind of sloped at uh, the middle part. I want it to be kind of higher. So I, I am going to have to get rid of this and slope it down a little bit in a different spot. Or do I? Let me um take off block match real quick. Bring this da down. Not, not that far. Down to about right there. No, it doesn't look like I'm going to have to. Let's uh, focus on this piece. That, my friends, is what we in the in the shipbuilding industry call a waste of money. This whole thing needs to be, needs to have a thin layer of armor over it. But since I haven't made these, I should not do that. Um, money. Money, 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 money. I need money. All up in this. Need all the money. Need money for days. So I'm going to leave it right here for right now. I'm not ending the episode here. I'm ending this part right here. And then I will be back in a couple of days after I've gotten some more money. I filled up my current crew, and uh, this is ready to go. Because I have to get ready for work. And uh, I've been at it for a little while. So, I will see you. Now, you'll see me again in like 5 to 10 seconds. But I'll see you in 3 or 4 days. Hello everybody, Seabiscuit here with Master Biscuit Gaming. And I'm redoing the intro because the first half of this video was actually made about four or five months ago. I don't know, but time surely, surely flies. Well, if you guys have been wondering where the content has been, because I started out so strong, you know, uh, some life stuff had to go down, and I just haven't had time to do the YouTube thing. I'm really sorry about that. But, you know, if you guys want to support the channel, help it to grow, get more people, then you know the weird thing about it is, I've been getting just as many views on this channel without posting, talking, or doing anything at all than I did while I was posting videos every day. Does that say something about me as a YouTube creator? Probably. It's not many views, by the way. I'm not, I'm not big on YouTube at all. More like a little tiny mini mini celebrity. I have more subscribers than I do friends. <laughs> We're not going to get into my life though. But yes, I am going to start trying to post videos on YouTubes again. I'll probably start doing one a week, uh, which just means that the quality of the videos is going to be just, mwah, just mwah, perfect. Except for this episode because it's going to be mixed with the stuff that I did last week. And I also still don't have a lot of time to do this. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is not a sponsored video. That is correct. Not sponsored by a single person. But if you want to sponsor us and have your sponsorship here, this is where it would go. Right here. Oh, my relations has worsened. The ship stops like... Well, like a giant flying brick trying to stop outer space, which... As you guys know, due to inertia and momentum and the laws of physics, it's not easy to do. So I had put these, this on here in, in hopes of trying to slow it down a little bit better. Didn't really work out, but I like the way it turned out, kind of rounding off the top end of the ship here. Before we get started with uh, continuing this whole venture we got going on, there is one thing I wanted to show you guys and get your opinion on, if you feel like sharing them. 
So right here in saved ships, at the very, very bottom, right here, we have this ship, which is a concept for a destroyer class, Star Wars inspired version of the ship that I have currently. It's not done, this was just a concept I was doing in the free builds. I do have the tritium to transform my ship into it whenever it's actually complete. On this one, in order to get over the fact that I need more thrusters, I added the the giant Star Wars winglet thing which would connect all the way to the inside here. It would uh, get rid of the need for these and this winglet would actually go all the way in. On this thing I also got, got rid of the bottom goo giant t-shaped winglet thing and I would be adding this up to the top so it would actually be a, a T I guess because it'll be going these would also be going up not down just up but this is what this looks like if you can see it in the video I don't know how how well it, the video is actually gonna show this I can make it I do have the funds I'm not gonna have whenever this thing is complete I'll show it to you again I wasn't able to add in the um, the uh, ooh, the bridge which I was trying to put here. It was going to connect backwards onto it. Unfortunately, I was having a design issue, so I might do that off camera and then show you guys the finished product a little bit later. And this is actually the torpedo tubes, which we're not going to we're not going to work with today, but I feel as though they're going to be an awesome addition to the game. Awesome. And we also need torpedo storage, which I'm going to put right in these two areas but uh, uh, another feature that I don't know if it was so readily visible before but you can see all of the parts that are just that are just uh, not filled in a lot easier like throughout the whole ship I don't know if that was always in the game I might have been taking advantage of it before but it just you know whatever and I need to cover these up. I need to cover up all of the internal bits because if my shield goes down and these things get shot then it can blow my ship directly in half or it can just blow my ship which it would probably enjoy. <laughs> That's for the adults in the audience. Don't, don't, don't get used to those kind of jokes. This is a, a family friendly channel. Alright anyways, let's uh, go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and uh, fill the rest of these in here so one of the things is I know I'm gonna need some more inertia dampeners I have enough iron to put in some more because the ship just takes so long to stop and filling this in is going to make it take even longer I'm also going to need to, to increase the size of my thruster bay back here so that's gonna go further back I put the I extended the the length of the winglets the wing spikelets because I kinda want those things to be the first thing to get shot instead of the internal squishy goo of the inside of my ship if my shields were to go down but enough talk we're not here to talk no uh... oh yeah they also have a flight recorder now which I, I did mention before can't turn whatever uh, torpedo storage. This is what I wanted. So what, is, what does it say? It just says torpedo storage. Pro provides torpedo storage. Awesome. So we're just going to turn that one into torpedo storage. And this one. Because I do plan on having... I have two sets of torpedo bays down here and then up here. I'm going to probably turn this one into a, into a torpedo as well. Yeah, I'm going to do that. The only thing about the only thing about it is, in order for me to actually do the torpedo thing, because it always going to try to come out the side, I have to actually delete the blocks and then place it in manually. Like I'm some like I'm some kind of sicko. No. You know, I actually do need some regular cargo bays, maybe. 
No, I don't. This isn't a cargo ship. Actually, if you guys know anything about transporting cargo in this game, like how it functions, what all I'll need to look at or worry about, let me know, because I normally don't use cargo at all. I haven't tried in this game. But if you guys want some Space Cargo Freight Simulator 2018, then let me know. I'll definitely do it. I'll give it at least one good college try. I already have that. So let's go all the way up to iron. Iron inertia dampeners. It looks like this might cost all of my remaining iron. No, it doesn't. Never mind. And let's go back up. You can never have too much shield generation. But there's that computer thing. So I'm gonna put that here. That was more expensive than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, yeah, the computer cores are not cheap. Put another one in there. Wait. Yeah, this is a computer core, okay. You put some solar panels on it, but why? All right, so let's do some more. What is this? Crew quarters. I don't think I'm gonna need any more crew quarters, but just in case I do, I'll put those two as crew quarters and the rest as shield. Nope, 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 nope. Energy container, tritium generator, field. Probably gonna need another one of these. The inside of this area has like a super large field generator. And the more of these do you, that you have, does it increase in ter Yeah, it does, okay. It's not by much though. So, I'm just going to get another actual shield generator. There we go. Add this to that. Which will... It'll put a, it'll put a significant enough on the shield. And now, it's time for me to spend all of my money on making it so that this thing can jump farther. Hyperspace cores, which are extremely expensive but a necessary evil shield generator okay so I have all of these compartments so you are nothing I'm gonna turn you into some more torpedo storage there we go well need more repair dudes because my ship will start dis destroying itself without them there we go now it's just blank right there because damage to this ship would be ex would be overly expensive Whoa, what huh all right so with that in this very weird janky episode i think we're gonna go ahead and call it here so then the next one we can get into some new content and in fact, I'm going to show off the other ship that I'm building, do some free building, and, and hopefully get to see what torpedoes are doing. So, see you guys. And I don't know how I used to close these things off. It's been so long. But like, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Is that Markiplier's ending? Whatever. Cut the video.